Hey there, and welcome back. So basically, we're going to do what we did last time. This time, we are going to do just all the side quests right now on the map and clean it up before I even do the main story. So, heads up. This episode's going to be mostly me just doing side quests, trying to get rid of those. If you want main story stuff, you can probably skip this one. Basically, uh, Nappa is staying with Bleach Japan because he wants to take down the Gomi Jewel. And, yeah. Excuse me. You wouldn't be Ichiban Kasuga, would you? Eh? I mean, yeah. That's me. Oh, I should introduce myself. My name's Kaede Tono. I knew I'd get to see you again someday. Forget me not. Substory 32. Hey, um, Kaede chan. Sorry, but do we know each other? We did meet once a long time ago. I was assaulted on the streets of Kamurocho, but you came to my rescue before any harm was done. Kamurocho. You sure it was me you ran into? My memory's kind of hazy on that. Uh, well, I, I guess it's not that important. It was a long time ago. Uh, that sucks. Thought I'd remember helping out such a cutie. Oh, please. Cute is the last thing I am. Anyway, I... I didn't get the chance to thank you back then. I just couldn't say anything at the time. Well, it's nice that you still remember me. But you know, if we were both in Comrade Show, then why didn't we run into each other again? Uh, that's the thing. I rarely set foot outside because of my illness. I couldn't even go to school. That's probably why we never saw each other around. I had really hoped we would catch up sooner, but I guess time waits for no one. Eventually, I realized you had packed up and left town for good. Oh. That was probably when I got locked up. But I decided I would find you someday, somehow, and express my gratitude then. So, yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Glad to see you're healthy, too. Well, I'm no longer confined to a hospital bed, I can tell you that much. I'm free to roam the world now. So I guess I'm trying to cross things off my bucket list. And the first thing on it was finding you. Oh yeah? So even though this girl only met me once, she's been waiting for me all this time. And here I was thinking no one gave a damn about me being gone. Almost makes me want to cry. All right! Now let's go out to celebrate, in honor of your return to the outside world. You mean it? I would love to. Aww. Though, the way we're talking about it makes it seem like I just got out of prison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why would I know anything about that? <laughs> well, I'm happy either way. So are we leaving right now? If you have things to do, I could always wait. No, no. Is there anything else I need to take care of right now, or am I down to just head out? Yeah, I'm good to go. Shall we? We kept okay, her waiting then long lead enough. The way. The only thing is, I have no idea what kind of things she'd be into. What would make her happy? Let's go to an arcade. Well, how about an arcade? Nothing cheers you up like a good game. Oh, I'd love that. I've actually never been to an arcade. No way, really? Uh, right. You've been stuck inside a hospital this whole time. Well, let's head on over. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is an arcade? Look at all the games you can try. Yeah. Yep. Just don't walk in here with hangover unless you want a headache. Trust me. Trust me on that one. I do. You're probably the only guy who would go to an arcade with a hangover. <laughs> <laughs> you got me there. So, are there any games that catch or catching your eye? <laughs> Elle looks so enticing. Oh. Hey, look at that cute stuffed animal over there. You think you can get it for me? Oh, look at the dog. You want me to tackle this UFO catcher, huh? Alright, let's see what I got. Good luck. Alright. 
me a second. Alright, let's see if I can capture the dog. I hate you, UFO catcher. I, I pushed it, but that is not what I want. Maybe I should put it on its head. I think that's around the neck. Oh, oh, oh! I hate you! I hate you so much. There is nothing in this world that will deal me much pleasure in destroying this machine. Alright, alright, alright. You Terrible position. The only one left is that one. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Okay, we got it. <laughs> you are something else, Kazuka-san. I don't know how you did that. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of don't either. Oh, would you mind holding on that for me? I don't have a purse or anything. Yeah, no problem. Best smile. Phew, I'd say we did pretty good in there. You have fun? Eh? Of course I did. And while the games were nice, the nice tree was watching you struggle to win. You should have seen your face. Oh, so that's how it is, huh? You even got to try out the print circle, something I always wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your pose. It's so weird, it's priceless. Huh? Damn, does that mean my eyes look like they're popping out of my skull? What's with the crazy hair? And here I was, thinking I was handsome. Guess I better wipe down the mirror next time I check myself out in the bathroom. Ah, Kazuka-san, you've always been handsome to me. Even with that crazy hair. That reminds me, I seem to remember your hair being shorter back then. Hmm? Huh? Oh, yeah. I guess you would uh, would have seen me before I went all freaking radioactive. Well, I think you look good either way. You're adaptable. Uh, thanks. That's a compliment, right? Huh? Of course. Hey, Kai Kaidu-chan. How old are you anyway? I mean, you, s you say we met in Kamarocho, so I don't know. Guess I thought you look a little older. Uh -huh. Kazuka-san, that's me. You know you're not supposed to ask a girl her age. Oh, whoops. Sorry. It was just an observation. Anyway, you want to go eat? I'm getting kind of hungry. Sure. Mm hmm? Hmm? Welcome. How many your party? Let me know whenever you're ready to order. Hey. Hey, not to be rude, but my date could use a glass of water too, yeah? <gasps> oh, uh, sorry. I'll bring another glass right away. I guess she'll be here when she gets here. Hmm. Now, what do you want to eat? You got a craving for anything, Coyote Chunk? Yeah. Oh, I'm not that hungry. Just orange juice is fine. Go ahead and knock yourself out, though. Aw, oh, I'm sorry. Should've asked you if you were hungry, too. Don't worry. I'll eat quick. <laughs> Don't worry about me. 
I have all the time in the world. Excuse me, I'll take a large omi rice, please, and orange juice. Coming right up. Phew, I'm stuck. Wow, you really savor every bite, don't you? Of course I do. I always love to eat, though I can't seem to slam it down like I used to. And I even think too fatty makes me so bloated these days. You know, I'm getting old. Isn't it wonderful to age, though? To watch yourself mature, see your body go through all its changes? I wish I could have done that. Hmm? Say, what now? Uh, never mind. I guess that sounds kind of weird. Anyway, should we get going? Okay. Yeah, why not? Thanks for the grub. Nice place you got here. Arigatou gozaimasu. Oh, of course. Thank you. Anything you've been wanting to do in particular? Mm. Let me think. We could always... Hey, boss! Yeah, I'm talking to you. Mm. Hmm? Look at this goofy bastard smiling and staring into space like a kid and his imaginary friend. <laughs> hey, here is out for a sec. That pachinko parlor right there sucked up all the cash we had. Sad, I know. Maybe you wanna, I don't know, donate to our cause, something along the lines of... Your whole wallet? Consider an investment in the youth of tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you think there's a tomorrow for someone pulling this kind of shit? How about you shut the fuck up? Huh? Dude, just let's rob this dipshit and get back to business. Kaede chan, stay back. Might get a little dangerous. Uh. Just be careful. You just had to go and freak out my dick. You better be on your knees apologizing when I'm done with you. What's this guy yapping about? Yo, cut the crap fork over that investment. You get out of the room now. I'm gonna dance to death. I got this. Cut. Psycho. Take it from me, you're better off finding a temp job. You okay, Kaede chan? Kasuka san, I'm fine, thanks to you. You protected me just like before. Even after all these years, you're still my one and only hero. Right. If you say so. It's getting pretty dark out. Guess that means our date's almost over. Hey, Kasuka-san? Huh? There's one more place I'd like to go. Would you mind staying with me just a little longer? Sure. to see the town lit up at night like this. It is a sight to see. I never thought a view like this was in my own backyard. You know, it's crazy how we met up out of nowhere. Especially after all this time. 
Yeah, tell me about it. You know, I would watch you all the time from my hospital room. Wait, watch me doing what? Well, at first, I only heard your voice. You were really loud, so that's what initially got my attention. Give me back my change, or meat you're still eating. <laughs> I would hear that kind of thing every day. Yeah, that does sound a lot like me. At first, I wasn't sure what to think of you, but I warmed up to you pretty quick. Instead of lying around in bed wondering whether I'd live or die, I had someone else to focus on. Whenever you were in short sleeves, I knew it was summer. Or when you wore a scarf, I knew it was winter. Really? Damn, if I'd known I was being watched, I would have worn cooler stuff. No. What you wore was perfect. It reflected the true you, Kasuka-san. The man I fell in love with. Huh? You serious? Oh, hold on, hold on. Did I hear you right? You love me? <laughs> I hope that's not a problem. Hey, Kasuka-san? Live long, and stay happy, for both of us. Huh? Hey, no loitering, you drunk! Mm? Hey, who were you babbling to just now? Oh, uh, sorry. Didn't mean to make a scene or anything. Huh? Huh. <laughs> you wasted, big guy? Maybe you need to walk down to the station. Uh, no, officer. No need for that. I was just about to leave. Yeah? Well, I suggest you get on home. Don't be a nuisance. Okay. She must have passed away a few years ago. <laughs> Maybe we'll meet again. When it's my time. She just wanted to say thanks. Uh, and in the end, she did die. But she gotta do what she want. She gotta say thanks to him. Uh, an act of kindness left an impression on a chick who was extremely sick in a hospital. Then one day he came up and saved her when she left. All she wanted to do was thank him, and sadly passed away before she could. Then her spirit came back in all white. Yeah. That one's a sweet one. Sad, but sweet. And technically, I guess you could say it was all in his head. I don't think it was. Alright, I think we're good. Making sure about things. Honestly, Ayami-kun, you can't do anything without your senpai. What kind of tour guide goes the wrong way? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. What's going on over there? Tour guide turmoil. I don't know if you're nervous or what, but trouble our customers like that again and you're fired! This next one is your last chance. Make sure you know your stuff! Uh, if I get fired in front of my parents, my life will be totally ruined. I could be hey, jerk and trying to get fired. I noticed you were pretty down over here. You alright? Huh? That guy was yelling at you pretty loud, so I got kind of worried. Oh, you saw me get scolded by my boss, huh? Oh, how embarrassing. And he said something about you being a guide? Yes, I'm a tour guide with Chinatown Tours. I just recently moved to the city, but I have severe performance anxiety, and, well, I'm always messing up. 
All the other new girls are doing really well while I'm out here making a total fool of myself. My senpai's usually around to help me, but she was out sick today. I tried doing it by myself, but it was a total disaster. Oh, so that's why your boss was yelling at you. Yes. And if I mess up again, I might lose my job. That's rough. And that's not the only thing. My parents are going to be at my next one. They wanted to see me shine, so they flew all the way out here. And you don't want to look bad in front of your parents. That definitely adds some pressure. That's why I have to do well on this next one. But I don't have a lot of time. It's just gonna be another train wreck without my senpai's help. What should I do? Yeah, that's a real drag. There's gotta be something you can do. I know this is sudden, but I have something I need to ask you. Yeah, they tend to ask. What's that? Would you be willing to help me in my next Chinatown tour? Uh, me? I know I'm being unreasonable, but do you think you could? Just having someone around will be a big help. You're asking me for help like I'm some kind of Chinatown expert. I'm kind of not. I'll be informing everyone about each stop we visit on the tour. I just need you to chime in any time I get nervous and clam up. <sighs> You're the only person I can turn to at this point. Won't you please help? And of course, I'll make sure you're rewarded, too. It's not like there's anyone else she can ask. What should I do? Except... All right, fine. I'll sure as hell try. Oh, thank you, mister. I know we've only just met, but I'm incredibly grateful for how kind you've been. My name is Ayami Ishida. Nice to meet you, Ayami. I'm Kasuga. Kasuga-san, pleased to meet you. Okay, let me fill you in on the places we'll be visiting. I'll simulate the tour with these pictures, so let me know if you have any questions. Right, yeah, pay attention. sure thing. Thank you again. Okay, first, take a look at this picture. All right, let's hope I remember these, because I don't. This here is the entrance to Chinatown. Okay. This magnificent gate is called a Pai Fong, and it's a staple of traditional Chinese architecture. Pai Fong, huh? That's a first for me. It's said that a red dragon lies within the Pai Fong, acting as its guardian. It watches over Chinatown from the gate, ensuring there's peace in the community. A red dragon, huh? That's perfect for Chinatown. Chinatowns are often associated with the color red, too. Okay. Pai Fong, Next, red I'll dragon. Next, I'll explain the stalls that line the street. Even in Chinatown, the street is lined with many well-known stores. And in our tour, we'll be going to the meat bun shop with the blue sign. They're known for their ultra-packed super bun. Ultra-packed super bun. fancy. The meat bun is so incredibly large, it's nearly the same size as a soccer ball. You should give it a try sometime, Kasuga-san. Okay, on to the next place. This will be the final stop on the tour. The Swine Latong Statue. It's said to be the god that presides over all the food in Chinatown. Swine Latong? It's called Swine Latong because it's a play on both Swan Latong, Chinese hot and sour soup, and the pork often used in the recipe. Swine wow. Latong. Okay. That's, uh, unique. There's a very interesting legend regarding this adorable Swine Latong. Rub the Swine Latong's right ear four times before you leave Chinatown, and you'll encounter delicious food wherever you go. Rub its right ear four times. Am I supposed to be taking notes? The paint is starting to chip on its right ear, so use that to help you remember. Yep, okay. Pie okay, fall, red dragon, that covers it. Ultra Think you'll be okay, Cost. This is tough. Oh, whoops. But it sounds like you've got it all down, Ayami. Mm, well, when is the real thing? I worry too much about messing up, and my mind sort of goes blank. Still, I want to show my parents that I can stand on my own two feet. So I'll do my best. Okay. I have some things to do before the tour, so I'll be waiting in front of the Tayo Gate on Chinatown Way. All right. I'll see you later. I'm going to save, because I'll probably forget. You rub the ear four times, the right ear, and then you got the Pai Fong with the... I'm saving here. Pai Fong with the red dragon, and then the Ultra Packs buttons. All right. Let's do that quest before I do anything else. China, China, China. I'm not seeing the blue marker. Mm, 
Oh, there it is. I'm stupid. It's right here. Okay. I'm extremely dumb. But I was going to think of Dragon Cart today, but I'm like, I have a lot of side quests to do. There's absolutely going to be no time for that. that. Like, I still got like seven side quests on the map to do. Alright, and she is... Alright, we'll go north, and go on from there. Actually, wait, what's here? Oh, there's just out of order bathrooms. Yo! Excuse me, but what exactly are you doing here? Mm. Mm. No, those threats just won't cut it. There's a dress code, you see? Huh? A dress code? What, to take a leak? Soul. I'll have you know this is no ordinary bathroom, but if you're here to simply do your business, go ahead. But I will say, people who can keep up the trends will really be able to lease. <laughs> oh, well, come back when you have more style. Mm. How is this all about? I don't really get it. But maybe if I was a head turner. Okay, so it's style level four. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't mm. mean to do that. Which, at the moment, Kazuga is a. Style level three, inoffensive. Oh, god damn it. Yeah. Mm. I keep trying to run and I keep accidentally talking to him. Now. <sighs> okay. Chinatown, Chinatown, Chinatown. Ch -ch 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 Hi, don't hit me. I'm gonna go up here. To only go back. Oh. Wait, that might be a Tojo crust. Yep. I'll turn those in later. Alright, now we're gonna take a right. There's a side quest over there. I don't think I remember what that one is. There's only some I remember, like the one with the ghost girl. I remember, I'm like, oh, I remember the other one, which I haven't gotten to yet. I'm going across the street. I'm not going to deal with that right now. Alright, now let's go south, and she's there. Honk honk. Save. So I'll probably screw up, knowing me. I am. I'm counting on you for today's tour. Are you ready to go? Um. Hi. Alright, I just want the buns. I think I got the other two. I just want the buns. This is the par thing. Alright. Alright, this is all right, the blue sign. Ultra packed super bun. Alright, and then you rub the ear. Okay, ultra packed super bun. So did you Alright, I forget if this one's voice acted. I don't think it is. And her parents. Oh, look how happy they are. Uh, hello, everyone. Thank you for p participating in the, uh, Chinatown tour. Uh... Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> Off to a great start. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a new girl. You're going to be all right, miss. Don't worry, folks. You're all going to be in great hands today. Hey. Keep it together, Ayami. I'm popper watching. Right. I need to pull myself together. <clears throat> My apologies. Uh, okay. It's your tour guide. I'm your tour guide today, Ayami Ishida of Chinatown Tours. And this here's my sister of the day. His name is Kazadansan? That's Kazuga. At your service. Happy to be here. <sighs> Man, Ayami's already a wreck. Here we are. 
This gate marks the entrance to Chinatown. <gasps> what a beautiful gate! Right, here we are. This gate marks the entrance to Chinatown. Uh, we, you just said that. Yo. Hey, you just said that. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a comedy bit? Oh, uh, my apologies. This magnificent gate is called a Peifang. It's a, it's a staple of chi traditional Chinese architecture. Legend has it a guardian lies within. The guardian is... It's a... It's... A... <laughs> oh dear, are little girls all... Are little girls all right? Uh-oh. I should probably, uh... Hey, it's a... Uh, damn, that didn't take long. <sighs> Alright, guess I'll lend a hand here. Or a hand here. The guardian animal was a red dragon. Yeah. The gate's guarded by a red dragon. Huh? That's right. The gate's guardian is a red dragon. The dragon is set to watch over everyone's... Everyone right here from this gate. <gasps> wow, a red dragon. That's super fight fitting for Chinatown. Maybe we should get a picture. Oh, someone forgot their camera or phone. Good, good. Okay, let's head to the next spot. <sighs> well, I was able to help. Okay, so, um... Here is the Santa Bori. This street is lined with many well-known stores. Yo. Psst. Chinatown. Huh? Yes. I meant to say this street is lined up with a lot of great stores, just like Santa Bori. And speaking of which, who's hungry? That one out her ass, didn't she? One the place I personally recommend is the meat bun shop over there. No. Blue sign. Blue sign. There we go, blue sign. Wow, it smells great. But there's a lot of meat bun shops here. Sorry, which one is it? Huh? Oh, well, uh, it's the, uh, oh no. <laughs> Sheesh, what a pain in the ass. Yeah, it's the one with the blue sign. I'm pretty hungry too, so why don't we head over that way? Great, I'm starving. What sort of meat buns do they have at this place? It'll be a surprise when you get there. Now, let's keep going. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Maybe they'll have a chili shrimp bun. <laughs> Ayami is doing a great job, isn't she, dear? Hi. Indeed. I think it's cute when she messes up and gets scared and starts twirling in a circle. Looks like Ayami's mom and dad are happy. Hey, my intellect went up. Nice. I'm smart. There it is. Okay. Mmm. What a great smell. Huh? This place currently has a new meat, bu meat bunk called the, uh, uh, was it Hyper Miraculous? Uh, oh, uh, oh no. Come on, Ayami. What was the name of the meat bun? It was the Ultra Packed Super Bun. Their big thing now is their newly released Ultra Packed Super Bun. The most surprising thing is the Ultra Packed Super Bun is its size, as big as a soccer ball. This meat bun is sure to please even the biggest appetites. I hope everyone give it a try. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? We should post about it. <gasps> Good call, people are gonna love this. Oh man, I got some style from that. Hmm, looks like that one. Well, we finally arrived at the last stop of our tour. This is the newest addition to Chinatown, the Swai Latong. Mm -hmm. Swai Latong? This little piggy gets its name based on the Chinese dish. Sun Latong, or hot and sour soup. Swine Latong. I get it. <laughs> Funny name, but it's cute. 
the, the swine on the tongue has a look similar to Maki Neko, but, but it's said to be the god of food here in Chinatown. And, um, I don't know, there's supposed to be some sort of thing you do. Um, oh, you're doing so good. What's up with the chipped paint on the right ear? Huh? Oh, right! There's a saying that if you rub the swine on the tongue's right ear four times, you'll count delicious food no matter where you go. Eh? Wow, I want to rub it. Let's get a picture. Would you like me to take your picture? Yes, please. Huh. <laughs> Ayami, you're doing great. <laughs> Indeed. I'm so proud I could cry. Eee! I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Ugh. Hey, jerk off. Look at what you did. You went dirty my 500 grand suit. There's no way it's 500 grand. Taki, Taka, Tanaka-san, are you okay? Oh, no, 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 Ano! Uh, miss, please help. I got a bone to pick with you. Oh, uh, what should I do? Taka's in trouble. Uh, Taka, I'll bet, 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 bet. I may be scared, but I can't panic. I have to be strong and protect my customers. You even go up. You even burn me with that hot tea uh? there. Huh? But this milk tea's been cold for a while now. Uh, shut your yeah. If I say I got burned, then damn it, I got burned. Oh, she's stepping in. Mate. Luke, if you want to hit someone, hit me. It's my job to make sure my customers are safe. Uh, miss? I'm going to need 500 grand for my suit and another 500 for my injuries. That's a cool mill in total. Your company can cover that, right, girly? Um, in that case, I think we'll need to discuss the matter with our lawyers. Oh, well, how about that? Little girl's got some balls. <gasps> Ayomi! Dia! Hey. Back off. Huh? Who the fuck are you? I'm the tour guide. I'm the tour guide's guide. My job is to steer the tour around the, the trash. And what do you know? It looks like we got some right in front of us. It's quite a sight. <laughs> Big talk. Your little hero routine just raised the bill two mil. I hate to say, I'm not paying that. <laughs> what a threatening man. Right. I am you want to go? I got this. <laughs> oh dear, cool. I messed up. Oh well. Come on, Goodbye, man. dear sir. You're dead. <laughs> Ooh, a gambler's tie. That's actually really good when I unlock gambler. Which I think Aerie can uh, unlock. I think it should be... Well, shit. Now my suit's all dirty. How about I charge you two mil? And we call it even. I'm so sorry. Kazuka-san, thank you very much. No. Nah, don't mention it. That was close. Tanaka-san. Everything's better now. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you. You really saved me. No, no. I'm just glad you're okay. <laughs> Alright, everyone. I'll take you to the end of the tour. Well, that went swell. Last time I think I got the shop wrong. Or the name of the bun, actually. So yeah, I did it right this time. Thank you for joining us on our tour today. I'm sure there are a few times I made a mistake or two. And for that... I apologize. No, no. It was a lot of fun going around Chinatown like that. Thank you. That big bully guy was really scary. But you were so cool. You didn't flinch one bit. Oh, no. I squeaked like a mouse. I was super scared. <laughs> You're funny, miss. Oh, miss. What was the name of that pig we saw at the end? The Swine Latong. It's a new specialty here in Chinatown. They say you'll be blessed with delicious food after rubbing its ear. That's right, Swine Latong. That thing's so cute. I want to get a phone strap or something. If you're looking for those, they sell them at the shop near the entrance, so by all means, please stop by. Thank you so she has much. Been, she's not so shy anymore, Do you feel she? like you got any better at guiding people today, miss? Huh? Actually, you know what? 
I'm not nervous anymore. Hey, that's great. Uh, thank you, everyone. That's it for the tour. Yeah, thank you. Bye. -bye. I Man, I'd love to go on a tour like that. Oh boy. Be nice. Thank you so much for today. You really know how to fight. Wow, well, that's pretty much all I'm good at. But forgive me. Great job standing up to that gorilla, Ayami. I was really scared at first. But when I thought about protecting my customers, I didn't feel so afraid anymore. Right? Dependable, cool, and most importantly, able to create the best memory for all the customers. That's why I came here. That's the kind of tour guide I want to be. That's really great. I'd say you were four for four on that, Ayami. The tour customers looked like they were having a lot of fun, and your dad and mom were both impressed too. You think so? Oh, I'm so glad. It's really all thanks to you, Kasuka-san. It's because you worked hard, Ayami. You've got some great parents. <laughs> well, I'm going out with them tonight, so I'll be sure to treat them well. Oh, right. I'd like you to have this, Kasuka-san. Uh, all right, then. I hope to see you again sometime. <sighs> okay. Time to head back. Um, excuse me. Huh? Uh-oh. Oh, it's the parents. Sorry to bother you. I'm Ayami's mother. And I'm Ayami's father. Thank you so much for helping her today. No, I didn't do anything that special. Ayami worked hard because she knew you guys were coming. Well, that girl can be a little scatterbrained sometimes, but she does her best to be a good daughter. We were worried that all she might do was try to please us and that her performance would suffer because of it. That being said, we were very much relieved to see how well she did today. I never knew Ayami was so strong, nor that she could make others smile like that. My husband even cried he was so moved. Oh, come on. That's beside the point. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be an even better tour guide from now on. Every parent has to let their child fly solo at some point. And it helps that there's great guys like Kasuka-san out there, too. And just what is your relationship to our sweet Ayami, exactly? Hmm? Oh, please, uh -oh. dear. Right, that was rude of me. Kasuga-kun, was it? We'd like you to have this. Ooh, I'm I holding on to that. I hope you'll be there for Ayami if she ever needs you again. That I will use at the end of the game on the character I think that needs the most. <sighs> Good to see a family that's looking out for each other like that. Keep up the good work, Ayami. Another substory completed. Oh, I can hire Ayami. Alright, I got a fancy microphone. I probably already have a better microphone, but let's see. Oh god, no, that's actually a lot better. Nice. And, let's see. Oh, we're actually next to a side story. And I'm also next to a fight. Wait, what? Oh, the fight's over there, I was gonna say. Okay, yeah, let's run over there. Oh, look at all the people. Oh. oh. Hey, look, a rainbow snag beetle. Oh my, that's rare for the winter. It's winter right now? Yeah, we're in Lazarus Beetle. Hmm. There's certain bugs you want to farm for later. Pretty sure. Alright. Oh, wait. It just hit me. I think I know what quest this is. Oh, wait. Oh. I can. Okay, there's a bug one. I need to that one. Alright, give me a second. Bug delivery. I have it. Where are they? Oh, I can just deliver it to any rep. Okay. Now the paper. I need pocket tissues. Hmm. 
Yeah, this might be the one I'm thinking of, or another one. Extreme Light Dial, it's the one I'm thinking of. That one I think is a little later. This one might be... Oh, it's the biker one. Right, 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 right. Okay. Takasan, please reconsider. Agreed. Think about who we're up against. Hmm? Look, I feel bad for Junpei, but... You morons! Come on! You'd really abandon Junpei like that? No, it is Junpei and his shitty luck's fault for ramming that Yakuza's car in the first place. Either way, that doesn't change the fact that we're all Purple Kaisers. We don't need a reason to rescue a bro in need. Yeah, but this is the Yakuza we're talking about. One wrong move and we're all dead. So, so what if they're Yakuza? Taka the Striker isn't about to let himself get pushed around by some Yakuza creep. If push comes to shove, all we gotta do is mention the Omi Alliance, and they'll take off running. I don't know about that. Yet. All right, one second. I am doing something. I shall pause in the meantime. Yo. Hey. Uh huh? Huh? What do you want, old man? We don't have time to help you right now. I don't need your help. Just thought I'd tell you to forget about this little Omi Alliance plan of yours. Pull a stunt like that, and the Omi Alliance will have you in the crosshairs next time. Wait, you heard all that? <laughs> we weren't really planning on just dropping the Omi Alliance name like that. But if these cowards are going to sit around on their asses, I'll march to their office and take them on myself. Junpei's one of us. If I don't go, what does that make me? <sighs> this guy's acting like he's tough shit, but he's obviously scared. Still, guess I'm the one to talk. I messed with the Yakuza as a kid and would have gotten myself killed at Arakawa-san at Showa. I was just some punk he'd never met. And he still went on his way to... <laughs> I... I'm gonna say Junpei. <sighs> Fine, I'll tag along. I'll tag in for these guys. Huh? The hell? Why should I tag along? I said earlier, but you guys... I said this earlier, but you guys should stay out of Yakuza business. Yakuza don't give a rat's ass about you or your little brotherhood. Ah, I get it. You're scared of the Yakuza too. Well, not me. Taka, the striker, runs from no one. No matter who they are. Uh, you got a lot to learn. You're just a punk kid. Huh? Huh? Like you know any better. Who the hell are you anyways, old man? Hey. I'm Michiban Kazuga. I messed with the Yakuza once and almost got myself killed because of it. But thankfully someone stepped in and saved my ass. Someone who earned my respect. I'm not compared to Arakawa-san, but at least if I can at least try and keep this kid from facing the same shit I did. I'm not interested in your stories, old man. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be either, but what can I say? With that kind of determination, I couldn't help but get involved. If this keeps up, you and your buddies would would be let uh, won't be let go of so easy. Especially if you're going in without a plan. But here I am, an old man with a lend a hand. I'd take whatever help I could get if I were you. And doing so doesn't make you weak, either. Old man. Alright. Honestly, I've never busted in the Yakuza office before, so I wasn't really sure if I could do this alone. I'm glad someone here's got my back, even if it's just for now. If it's just for now. Let's make it count. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Takasan. Ah. You heard him. The old man and I are going to rescue Junpei. You guys hold down the fort. If for some reason I don't make it back, you better keep the Purple Kaisers going strong. Takasan, don't say stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing around. Of, of course I'm coming back. Oh man, I know I shouldn't be the one to say this, but we might want to prepare before we go. <laughs> He's got more of a spine than I thought. Good point. Okay then, we gear up and then storm the castle. <gasps> right. I think I'm, s I'm good. 
but just in case, you can never be too careful. Oh, whoops. I want to be in top game when I rescue Jim Pui, you better... Yeah. Wait, what? I'm so... What? 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 I'm sorry. What? You don't want to do it now? Uh, I'm ready. Uh, okay, I guess I'm leaving for now. Weird. I'm like, I'm ready, let's do this, but the game's like, no, nah, you're not ready. It's like, oh, okay. Alright, I'll take the notice, I'm not ready. Oh, we got some shiny maf mafiasu. Alright. Let's go! Just some tech scatter. And that's how good she is. Mafioso. Wait, not mafioso. She's brain. I'm ready now. I'm not Goodbye. Honestly, I'd be down before someone swung, swung a sledgehammer at me. I'd be like, nope, nope, nope. Not even an attempt to dodge it. Just don't do it. Sledgehammer is super big damage. Alright. Black Hat Wizard. No idea what that is. Hello, ma'am. Alright. 150. Alright, that's another Club Sega. Actually, come to think of it, the next Yakuza game is in Hawaii. There's gonna be no arcade games, if you think about it. That sucks. Hmm. We'll see. his deal. He seems pretty stressed out. Uh, that's a weird looking thing. What's this? This doll's got an orange for a head. Weird. There's a button on it. What happens if I... Oh shit! It talks? Oh, there's one over there. Get another Michio-kun. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, did he surprise you? Uh, yeah. Guess he kind of got me. This little monster yours? Monster? <laughs> Heavens no. This is the one and only Ono Michio-kun. Ono Michio-kun? The hell's that? Ono Michio-kun is a mascot created to represent the proud port city of Ono Michi in Hiroshima. I'm Hironaka, a producer for all things Michio-kun. Right. So, uh, this thing represents Ono Michi how exactly? Oh, surely you're joking. Just look at him. A charming face based on the Hasaku, a specialty of the Setouchi region. A steamy Onomichi ramen hat to add a touch of flair. Onomichi ramen is a staple of Onomichi culture, after all. A cute fish pouch to represent the city's wide variety of delicious seafood. <laughs> cool fishing boots to highlight Onomichi's strong fishing industry. And a trendy shirt with his surname, Ono, in bold. He really is the perfect mascot, don't you think? Uh, Why, just looking at him brings to mind all that Onomichi has to I've offer. I've seen better. I don't know about that. He's pretty popular as of late. Even this figure here sells out rather quickly. He's the featured product in the Onomichi souvenir section of our new shop here in town. You're selling this in a souvenir shop? Look how detailed he is! Isn't he exquisite? Well, when you put it that way, sure. 
And the ramen's got all its toppings, too. Oh, yeah. Didn't this thing talk to me earlier? Yes. A voice plays when you press the button. Observe. Oh, no. Michio da! Yoroshiku Michi. Oh, no. Huh, Jojo. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, isn't he great? The way he says Michi sure is cute. Huh. Yeah, sure. I was thinking earlier his voice is actually pretty neat. Yes, well, only the genuine article will speak. The fakes made overseas don't hold a candle to the real ones. Fakes? Uh, yes, uh, like this one. Oh, jeez, that's a fake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looking at them side by side, they're definitely different. The ramen's on the wrong I'm side, happy that too. He's become so popular. But popularity means there'll always be those looking to make easy money from shoddy imitations. Many of them are obscenely poor quality. Who troubles me to think that these fakes would even attempt to pass as Michio Kun? Hey, this fake's got a button too. Want to try it out? No, wait, please, don't press that. You know what? I want to press yeah, that button. That just makes me want to press it even more. Never tell me not to press a button. Huh? It's not talking. <laughs> Maybe I should press it harder. Let's smash it. All right, going in. in. Uh. Huh? Uh. <laughs> it's a bomb. Uh, are you okay? I tried to warn you. Oh no, your hair's all frizzy now. It wasn't before. Anyway, what the hell was that? Well... <laughs> Bring some of those in the battle. <laughs> Got it. So the fakes have shitty batteries and might blow up. That's right. It's bad enough that they're fake, but it's even worse that they explode. I've been going around collecting them wherever I see them being sold. But when it came to hauling off the fakes, the box turned out to be a little heavier than I thought, and uh, I sort of tripped. Uh, to make matters worse, uh, the genuine ones got mixed up in there, too. Careless handling of these fakes could result in an explosion. So I'm at a bit of a loss here. So you basically made a minefield. Uh, recently, it's been difficult with my poor eyesight to see the finer details of things. Making it even harder to tell the real ones from the fakes. Oh, this is all so troubling. I was just on my way to deliver the genuine ones to the shop, too. Even if I were to ask for help, I would need to find someone with both decent eyesight and a hairstyle that won't look all crazy after an explosion. Where am I going to find someone like that? Hmm? Um. Hmm? Yeah, good luck with that. I'll, I'll see you later. And now wait just a minute! <laughs> oh, come on. I'm really pretty anti-getting blown up. Oh, don't be such a sour puss. Won't you help me in my time of need? Not many people have frizzy hair, the strength to withstand explosions, and time on their hands like you do. Seriously, do you even hear yourself right now? Please, he's the star of our Onomichi souvenir section. Each one of these figures is thoughtfully hand-painted and assembled by the people of Onomichi. These are all done by hand? Indeed they are. The local grandmothers of Onomichi do it as a side job, as a way of sharing their beloved city with the rest of Japan. Even the children help put the finishing touches on them. I want to get these Michio-kun figures to as many people as possible, for each one contains the hearts and souls of Onomichi. Can you please help me gather the Michio-kuns? Uh, let me think. Cooperate. All right, sure. I'll help you out. Really? Oh, thank you so much! Uh, Oh, um, I just realized I haven't asked your name. I'm Kasuga, Ichiban Kasuga. All right, Kasuga-san, I'm glad to have you on board. This way, please. D okay.
<sighs> Man, yeah, this looks like a mess. So, uh, if only these fakes didn't exist, this wouldn't have happened. How I hate them so. Sure, sure, I get it. So, what can I do to help? Yeah. I need you to collect the real Michiko Michio Coons from the, among the figures scattered around here. The fakes will probably explode if you touch them, which uh, I'm sure is rather painful. Got it. Beg the real ones, don't touch the fake ones. Got it. Hi. That's right. There are seven real figures. Please find them without getting yourself blown up. Collect seven real Michio Kun figures among, hidden among the many fakes scattered throughout the plaza. Picking up a fake will cause it to explode, leaving Kazuka a world of hurt. If its HP drops to zero, he'll be down for the count. So choose carefully. All right. Where though? Hmm? What's this? That's a real one. Hmm. Huh? That's a fake. That's oh, that's a real one. What is this? Hmm. Huh? I'm going by sleeves. If they don't have sleeves, ignore. What's this? Nope. Hmm? Nope. 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 Oh, yes. What's this? Hmm. Huh? No sleeves. What's this? No sleeves, no sleeves, no sleeves. Is this? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? What's this? Oh. What's this? He's real. Hmm. Huh? Fake. Fake, fake, real. Is this? Hmm. Huh? Is that all of them, or am What's I missing this? some? Uh, I think I'm missing one. Or else it would have ended by now. Oh, wait. Oh, yep. What's this? Hmm. Huh? Oh, that wasn't that bad. <sighs> Looks like that's all of them. Wow, thank you very much. You were just the man for the job. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Glad I could help. But what are you gonna do with all those fakes still lying around? That's gotta be dangerous. Oh, that's okay. I'll have the staff pick them up later. They're all fakes, so there's no need to be careful anymore. Sure, whatever you say. I must say... I was somewhat touched by how passionately you analyzed those Michio figures. I just figures. looked at the sleeves, honestly. You're no longer just Kasuga-san. From now on, you're Ichiban Kasuga Michio Master! No, I think Kasuga suits me just fine. Oh, come now. Not many could have done what you did. Anyway, there were a lot more fakes than I thought. Once a character gets even the teensiest bit popular, it's not long before the fake goods come rolling out. In fact, some fakes are made so exceptionally well that even the professionals can't tell the difference. Damn. Even so, fakes are still fakes. We simply can't let them circulate. It would be inexcusable to those who work so hard to make Michio-kun goods with love, and to the fans as well. Right. Buying a cheap knockoff's not gonna help Ono Michi or Michio-kun. Indeed. And this isn't just about them. Fill the world with enough fakes, and eventually that which is made with love and care will cease to exist altogether. I don't want honest craftsmen and the fans who appreciate them to ever have to see such a day. Yeah, I feel you there. That's why, as Michio-kun's producer, I vowed to do all I can to fight back against these fakes. Hm. Well, I'll help out in any way I can. <sighs> Thank you. I've been wanting to take down these pesky forgers. They've yet to reveal themselves. Well, I can't say I blame you. Just stay out of trouble, all right? I know! Why not take this Michio-kun figure as thanks for today? Oh? You sure? Only Michio figure. Absolutely. Be sure to take good care of him. Hmm? Why is his head all beat up? This costume a fake, too? 
Oh, no. Quite the contrary. That one there is special. Special? A few years ago, there was a man who put on that very Michio-kun costume back in Onomichi. That fateful day was what kicked off Michio-kun's rise to stardom. I believe that man's sense of justice and honesty breathed new life into Michio-kun. <laughs> I've been carefully saving that costume there on the chance that one day he'll return and decide to become Michio-kun once again. Several of these costumes have been made, mind you, but that one is special. <laughs> Sounds like he left an impression on you. Hope I can be half as cool as that someday. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, he certainly was unique. Anywho, you really saved me today. Now I need to hurry and deliver these figures to the shop. I hope to see you soon, Kasuga-san. Keep your head up! Yeah, see you around. Mascots, huh? Protecting these guys is serious business, I guess. Huh? Again? Hmm. <laughs> Meet your minefield completed. He's gonna fall. Alright, that's another side quest down. Uh, oh man, we have another one down here. One up there. And there, there. Oh, jeez. There's more side quests than I thought. Not gonna lie. Also, there's one there. Literally right there. Oh, that's Onomichi. Oh, that's the knockoff Onomichi. The sleeves, man. It's the sleeves. Oh, I guess they're already selling those Michio-kun figures. Looks like rounding them all up was worth it. Hold up, that's not Ono Michio! This is a goddamn Ono Michi hoax! Fox no Michio. Look, isn't he cute? Ono Michio is all the rage in class. Hey, doesn't Michio kun have Ono Michi ramen on his head? This is Udon, isn't it? Udon ramen, what's the difference, Michi? <laughs> Just get out your Michi money. He's selling the fakes. That's fucked up. Hironaka needs to hear about this right now. I, I, wait, I have his phone number? Yes, Hironaka speaking. Yo, it's me, Kasuga. Oh, it's Michio Master Kasuga-san. Thank you for the other day. Is something the matter? Actually, yeah. I just found a guy selling fake Michio merch on the street. What? Did you really? Yeah. He's over by the Taiyo Gate in Chinatown. He's selling knockoffs in a fake Michio costume. A fake costume, you say? Understood. I'll be there as soon as I get ready. Get ready? Weird. I guess I should keep an eye on this clown until Hiro Naka shows up. Costume's terrible and lazy as hell. Zero respect for the real thing. So hey, is the fruit on your head an orange? Huh? Uh, yeah. It's more or less an orange, Michi! No, it's not. Michio's head is a charming hasu- hasa- Oh, uh, goddammit. And I hate the way the guy ends the his senses. It's Michi, jackass. <laughs> it's Michio-kun! Michio-kun, Michio-kun! What's that? So that pose you always do, the one where you go, oh no, Mitchell! Damn it, kid, I'm busy here. You're in the way. Get lost! Hey! Uh, <laughs> Mitchell could hit me! Come on, come on! Take a look at my wares, Mitchie! I've got rare Mitchell figures for cheap, Mitchie! That son of a bitch. Pulling crap like that and calling himself Michio. I can't take this shit anymore. I'm taking this jerk down a peg. 
Wait, Kasuga-san. Hey, Hironaka. That guy just hit a kid and... Whoa, shit! Hm. You are Hironaka, right? I am Hironaka, but I am also not Hironaka. I am Ono Michio, brought to life by my rage for this nefarious imposter. He not only sells fake Michio-kun figures, but he misuses Michio-kun's precious name and makes children cry. Unforgivable! As Michio's producer, I will become the true Ono Michio and bring this swindler to justice! Hey, that costume looks kind of loose on you. You sure it's your size? Uh, it just means I'll have to fill the empty space with my love <laughs> for Michio-kun! <clears throat> Here I go! Is he gonna be alright? I should probably stick around to make sure. <laughs> huh? Michio-kun? Excuse me! I'd like to buy a figure, please! Thank you, Michi. That'll be two thousand yen, Michi. Which is Michi. basically about Excuse me, Miss Michi. Bucks. But you shouldn't be buying a fake Michio Kun from someone like him. What? Two Michio Kuns? He's not Ono Michio. He's phony Michio. Huh? Who the hell are you? Ask me for my name, and I'll give it to you, Michi. With my charming Hasaku face, steamy Onomichi ramen hat, cute fish pouch, cool boots, vital for any fisherman, and my bold and trendy Ono shirt. That's right, I'm the pride of Onomichi. Ono Michio! Cease this greedy business and take your fake Michi merch with you! Uh... <laughs> huh? What are you on about? The real Ono Michio would never show his face here. Uh, huh? You're costing me business! Hey guys, get rid of this asshole! Oh, they're serious. Oh, shit. Is he gonna be okay? No. Oh, um, uh, uh, just a meaty moment here. Uh, why don't we have a debate instead? Uh, I once got fourth place in a competition in Onomichi. Like we'd waste our time with that shit. Get the hell out of here with that crummy outfit. Uh, wait. Ow. Oh, stop. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> you knock off. Hey, you all right? Stay with me. Hironaka, you went through all that just to protect Michio's reputation. And that suit was hanging off you. I'm sure that didn't help. <laughs> you look pretty cool marching over there like that. Just leave the rest to me. I'll protect you and the people of Onomichi. Oh no, Michio! What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Come to get your ass beat again? No, actually. I'm here to take your business Ono Michi out. What's that? You scam people with fake merch. You make kids cry. And you don't know a damn thing about Michio. I'd say it's about time someone taught you a lesson. I love lesson. how fast Kasuga became a huge fan of Michio. <laughs> oh, that's rich coming from a guy who just got the shit kicked out of him. This shit is easy money, and it's working. So we aren't stopping until it dries out. You're just some dopey mascot trying to play the hero, but you're gonna wish you hadn't. Guess we're past talking then. I might be just a dopey mascot, but I'm not dopey enough to let you soil the good name of Ono Michi. <laughs> Keep talking. All right, boys. Hey, let's murder somebody. Yeah. <laughs> let's murder somebody with a smiley little mascot face. Right? I got this. You're gonna be the one. Oh, yes. So good. All right, let's. 
windmill. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh, charismatic intimidation and agility. Uh, just 10 yeah. HP. I'm getting stronger. Five defense and five attack. Uh, man, I whooped their butts. Thumbtacks oh, and windmills. What the hell? How, how are you so strong? Because in the end, you guys are all just fake. I'm strong because I got the hopes and dreams of Onomichi on my side. Without that, you'll never beat me. No matter how many times you try. So go. <laughs> if you know anyone else making fakes like this, tell them they better stop. Tell them if they keep this shit up, Ono Michio is gonna suit up and Ono beat you, all of you. Ah, whatever you I say, can't take man. him seriously with that I'm mask. Sorry. Oh, right. Hironaka. Hironaka, you okay? Yes. Uh, I'll be all right. <sighs> More importantly, please take care of them, Michio Kun. Them? Oh, hi. Oh, okay. Um, Michio knew he could take those punks down, guys. Uh, wow! Michio Kun beat the fake! Huh? He's so cool! Oh, yeah, I've heard about this before. Michio-kun once took down a gang of neighborhood punks. Incredible. I bet he let himself get beat that first time so he could trick those guys into lowering their guard. Um, Michio-kun? Huh? Thanks for coming to see if I was okay. That made me really happy. <laughs> oh, yeah? So, um, your special pose. Could you do it again? Oh, I want to see it too. I didn't really get to see it last time. <laughs> Me too. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Here I go. Look out now. With my charming Hasaku face, steamy Onomichi ramen hat, cute fish pouch, cool boots, vital for any fisherman, and my bold and trendy Ono shirt. That's right. I'm the pride of Ono Michi! Ono? Michio! <laughs> Yay! Michio Kun! You're the best! Oh, thank you very much for helping me out. I feel so relieved to see those fakers put in their place. Even the people of this city were on board with buying the merch from the official shop, too. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Death Boom Box. Ooh, that might be good for me, actually. Really? Hey, good to hear. You took a pretty good beating back there. You all right? Yes, I'm fine. It'll take a lot more than that to put me down. That said, I don't think that faker is the last of them. If we let them run wild, I'm sure another one will pop up somewhere else. That's why I'm going to keep fighting these fakers. My love for Michio-kun is stronger than anything they could ever throw at me. <laughs> Damn straight. By the way, how long do I have to keep wearing this thing? I'm sweating my ass off in here. Please, just a, a bit longer. Oh, we're here. Hey, this is a souvenir shop. Why did we come here? Actually, they've kindly allowed us to sell Onomichi merchandise here. I figured since you were already wearing the costume, I'd take a picture of Michio-kun here and post it on the blog. Oh, so you're using me, huh? You sneaky bastard. Oh, <laughs> well. I appreciate your being so understanding. Thank you for everything. And with that, I'm off to update the vlog. <laughs> Until we meet again, Kasuga-san. Yeah, good luck.
Wait, don't you want the suit back? Jeez. Guess that's that. Huh? Wait. What do I do about this costume? I don't remember. Holy cow, I have so many more side quests. I think I'll save it and call it here. We'll just try to finish up the rest next time. It's side quest Orama right now. But hey, we got some fun side quests. We started a really bittersweet, kind of nice one. But after that, they all just got goofy. But until then, I'll see you next time and bye.